Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Galactic Jerry. You're bringing you another Wi-Fi battle. This time, it's a, I guess, a person named Renee, and he's carrying a Garchomp, Charizard, Sableye, Scizor, Radio Nicholas, and Gallade. And as usual, I'm carrying a Sylveon, Porygon 2, Espeon, Suicune, Kangaskhan, Arcanine. And at this point, <laughs> he could have any Mega Evolution, either um, Garchomp or Charizard or even Scizor. So at this point, eh, I'm not really sure. And of course, I'm carrying my Mega Kangaskhan. And if I remember correctly, I probably did start off with, with my Sylveon. And he starts off with his Gallade. It's, it's a shiny Gallade, so okay. My, my Sylveon is shiny too, so no worries right there. And of course, he's gonna be faster than me. And he starts off with Sword Stance. And I start off with my Calm Mind. So at this point, I probably figure I should attack next turn since he already got the attack boost. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna attack. He goes for Send Headbutt, which knocks me out. Look at that. I active the Q Charm, but it doesn't really matter anymore because my Sylveon just fainted. So that was a waste of a waste of a Pokemon. So I, I straight out go for my Kangaskhan, which I'm going to make right buff. Yeah, at this point, I don't know since Galea has a pretty high attack right now. So I think I just sent out my Kangaskhan just to get the fake out, then switch out. No, 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 no. I, th I think at this point I just figure out that. Since Kangaskhan is naturally faster than Gallade, I should be able to take it down. And knowing that he's not carrying a choice card made it simpler for me. Then he sends out Sableye, which at this point I think I predicted he was going to go with the Will O Wisp just to cut my Kangaskhan's attack in half. Then I sent my Espeon to get the magic bounce. Okay, so I did predict it right. Uh, but of course he avoids it. And, well, come on, really. <laughs> but then I decided to go with my with the calm mind, and I'm pretty sure she's gonna attack. Yeah, knock off. So whatever I don't know, I was carrying the super effective. It's not even a critical hit; it just takes me out. So this is one thing I hate about Espeon, and that's really weak defense. But <laughs> there goes two of my Pokemon just like that, one hit. So then I had to go with Ark and I get intimidated off. So his knockoff won't do as much damage as before. So I go with the Flare Blitz. And hoping it will take it down. I get the critical hit, luckily for me. But unfortunately, I get the recoil from the Flare Blitz and the Life Orb damage. But there goes that Sableye, one of the most annoying Pokemon out there. Then he goes with Garchomp, a shiny as well. I go for extreme speed and get the rough skin and the life orb damage. I think at this point, I just fire figured my Arcanine wouldn't be able to do as much, so might as well just leave it out there and, and get as much damage as I can with it. Then I go with my Porygon 2. And I think I decided to go. Okay, so I traces a rough skin, so this could be pretty useful. He goes for Rock Tomb. This shouldn't really matter since <laughs> Porygon 2 is going to be slower than Garchomp. Unless he's playing out something else with some other his Pokemon. But luckily, Garchomp is out, and I still have the, the rough skin that I traced before. So then he goes with the Scizor, and he goes for Brick Break. Okay, so this can't be good. Luckily for me, I have the Eviolite and the Rough Skin, so he gets <laughs> some damage. Then I go for Discharge, hoping to paralyze it, but of course this doesn't work. Then he goes for Brick Break, and I barely survive. I get the Rough Skin damage. I use recover 
That's strange. Uh, I guess I'm faster than him, even with the rock tomb. Or at least he was trying to do something else. Brick break. Huh. So I guess we both have equal speed. So I get another. <laughs> Both skin damage, and I go for discharge. Oh, finally hoping to get that paralyzed. N but nope, nothing. There, um, then he goes for the brick break. I get the rough skin damage. Almost takes it down, but just not quite enough. Then at this point, I sell my sweet coon, knowing that I'm faster. So at this point, I decide to go for. Gold, yeah. Okay, so that sh takes down Sensor. Then he sends out Reuniclus, and I go for another Scald just to get burned. But I know it's not gonna take effect due to his um ability. Then he goes for Trick Room, so. He's obviously going to go faster than me. Then he goes for an energy ball, which is going to be super effective, but just not enough to take down my Suicune. And I go for another Skull just to get some more damage. And I get the Leftovers recovery. And I think at this point, I decide to go for Protect just to recover more from the Leftovers. And go for another energy ball, but he misses. And I do recover enough to take another hit then he goes for energy ball i'm not sure if he takes it down yeah okay so that didn't go as as well as i thought it was gonna go then i go for my king scan just to get the fake out which at this point should be enough to take it down let's see yeah very survives well, first you get the flinch and then the dimensions return to normal so I get I am able to get my earthquake off. So luckily for me all the dimensions are back to normal. Then he sends out his Charizard, which is probably going to a mega evolve. Okay, so you got a white stone. I think this is my last Pokemon as well, yeah, I think it is. So, the final battle is Mega Charizard Y versus Mega Kangaskhan. And luckily for me, I am faster in that turn. And I'm not sure if he's running a modest Charizard or, or a timid, but I am running a jolly max speed on Kangaskhan. So, I don't know, they both have equal speed, so either of them can attack first. But he went for flamethrower and gets the burn. And I was planning on going for sucker punch, but then since I got the burn, I probably figured it won't be enough to take Charizard down. So I went for another seismic toss, risking it. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> it all depends on the speed right there. And I guess I got the lucky 50 50 chance. But uh, there's the battle, um, barely won. I'm not sure his Charizard had the same speed as my Mega Kangaskhan, but all I know is that my Kangaskhan was able to attack first on those two turns and was able to take down Charizard. And luckily for me, I got the win. And thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you liked the video. And if you could, um, subscribe, and I'll subscribe back to you. Thank you.